If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today, we got Thursday LTDs. We got a new game mode. We got a new title update now. As far as the full title update, it's pretty long, so I'm going to be making that into a separate video later on today, so stay tuned for that, but... I do want to go over some of the things that will be included in today's update, guys. Now, as you guys do know, title updates are pretty, are pretty, usually pretty good. Some are lackluster, some are good, some are like average, and some are really large. Now, this is a pretty big, big difference, especially for franchise and yard players. That's that's pretty important, but guys. Before we get into today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go down below, turn that notification bell, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and like the video if you want a chance to shout it out. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Garrett. Uh, Garrett Takics, Takics. Sorry if I messed that up. Shout out to you for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. But moving on from that, guys, uh, make sure to subscribe. If you guys need coins for the LTDs today, head over to Mart Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. But, guys, this is kind of like the key highlights of today's title update that I will read to you guys later on. It's dev trade regressions, X Factor customizations, playoff bracket, career stats, retirement improvements, and a new feature, Yard Player Friend. Now, this is what's important that we're going to be highlighting here. If you guys like the Yard, you've been playing with your friends, you can always play with your friends, right? The issue is you couldn't play against a friend. Now you're able to play against a friend. So that opens up the opportunity for like like 3v3s let's say you have a friend group of like six seven people you guys can do 3v3s you guys can compete all night i think that's a lot more fun than just playing with them it's even more fun to compete against them so that's what we're, we're kind of looking for maybe they introduce them maybe a 6v6 at some point full games i don't know what we can go from this but play a friend is definitely a big feature for all you guys who do like the yard and then of course the franchise stuff i actually do play franchise myself so definitely super excited for all of this as well but guys, overall, as far as the player friend goes, I mean, that, that's, that's pretty big, right? Anytime we get a new game mode and title update, that's pretty big. And I think it already went live. At least that's what they said. But I'm not seeing it in-game yet. So, of course, I'm not entirely sure if it went live yet. But when it does, definitely go check that out. Looks really cool. I'll be going over the whole title update later for you guys. So, make sure to check out that video. But moving on from that, guys, let's go check out the new LT. But real quick, just to go over some of the key highlights. I know I didn't. I, I briefly said it for a second. I just want to uh, specify something. The franchise updates are probably the biggest factor of these updates. If you guys remember during the summer when there was the hashtag fix Madden franchise, they did come out and make a statement after like a month that they would fix some stuff, but they said it wouldn't come out to like midway through the year. This is what they were referring to. Now, there is more than just one drop. This is the first one. There'll be more, I think, one in January and probably another one around like March, depending. And franchise seems to be like a cloud mode. It just seems to continue on to every single year, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not like they actually fix it every year. It's kind of like they'll just like live update it. So, dev trait regressions, could care less about that. X Factor customizations, that is huge, guys. For anyone who plays franchise, you know that's huge. Again, I will go over more of this later in depth if you guys want to see that. But X Factor customization is huge. You know, you, you dev this wide receiver up from normal to X Factor, you make him a beast, and he gets, you know, energized and second wind, and you're like, wow, I wanted red zone threat or I wanted evasive or something. So you're able to customize that playoff bracket. It's really cool, too, so you'll properly see how playoffs are going to work and be like, it's more immersive, I feel like, for everyone. Uh, career stats care less about retirement improvements is definitely important it used to just be when your player retired you either just had a cap penalty and you couldn't find your player and you think that they like you know took off to another country and went on vacation you never know where they went now it's going to say like who the retirements for the entire year where you can see across the league everyone's like you know you're more in touch with the league which is important because prior to that people would retire and you'd have no idea and you're just like oh wait where'd that guy go and you have to ask someone in the league about it but yeah it's better for that guys those are the key highlights again i'll go over this more in depth later so hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of this video. Let's get into those LTDs as you just saw me flash real quick. Yeah, let's head over to that. Bees for today. First, we have Roquan Smith, 93 overall middle linebacker for the Chicago Bears. Now, I know a lot of people don't rock linebackers. A lot of people do like to use safeties instead. But he's still really good nonetheless. 89 speed, 91 excel, 92 strength. Uh, sorry, 82 strength, 93 tackle, 90 play recognition, 80 block shed, 93 hit power, and 85 zone coverage. Now, guys, this is actually a really good card. So first, you're going to power it up, of course. You're going to power it up. And then come up with lockdown. Once you do all those things, you'll have a 90 speed, 92 excel, 83 strength, 94 tackle, 91 play rec, 81 block shed, 94 hit power, and 90 to 91 zone coverage. You can get a zone coverage up to a 90 with lockdown, which is crazy. So he's going to be a really, really great middle of the field. Now, yes, you can get a safety with the same speed, the same zone, but you probably won't get that hit power as well with that zone. I mean, you might. I mean, you probably, you probably can get something more even. But I understand. Safeties are better in there. But if you're a guy that actually uses linebackers... Roquan Smith actually is a really, really good guy. The LTDs are starting to get really, really good. Now, the only thing that bothers me is his block shit. If his block shit was a bit higher, I would be, I would like him even more. Of course, you can't get that block shit up to a 90 threshold anyway, so just rock with it at the 80 that it is. But the card's good, right? Guys, yeah, if that block shit was like an 88, and you could have gotten that up or something, I'm telling you, this card would be a glitchy middle linebacker. But either way, he's still going to be good. The only issue is going to be when you compare him to a safety. Compared to linebackers, he's far and away probably the best middle linebacker in the game. 
right there with Patrick Willis, but a little bit better in my opinion. Now, the only difference, like I said, is that you can put a safety there. So, if you're a guy that rocks safety is that linebacker, you know, maybe this is maybe this one's not for you. But overall, I do think that Roquan Smith's a good card. And honestly, kudos to EA lately because I do think they are putting more effort into their limited times on Thursdays. In, in the years past, right, like signature series and stuff, they were always lackluster names, lackluster stats. Never the top cards in the game. This year, to start the year, same thing. But as of recently, if you guys haven't realized, they are making an attempt to make sure that these cards are some of the best cards in the game. In the last few weeks, Devin McCourty, one of the best, about the best safety in the game. Saquon Barkley, one of the best running back, well, the best running back in the game. Roquan Smith, the best middle linebacker in the game. Like They're making sure that these cards are the best players when they drop, which actually makes LTs more enticing. But moving on from that, guys, we do have another one. We do have Brandon Brooks right guard now. Again, nothing special about a right guard LTD, but again, it's still a pretty big name. Brandon Brooks for the Eagles. 93 strength, 94 awareness, 91 pass block, 93 pass block power. 89 pass block finesse, 89 run block, 86 run block power, and 90 run block finesse. Now, my only issue is he's a 93 overall with only two stats near 93. The rest mid-high 80s. Now, again, not horrible. Um, the issue is for me, when, I, when it comes to right guards, I prefer to have a right guard that can run block higher than a pass block, not vice versa, or at least the same. Now, the fact that the pass block, the run blocking is a little bit down. Now, of course, you can get that up. All you have to do, so pass block, um, I mean, sorry, run block power. I'm pretty sure Zelmarin gets that up. So if you power up and chem him up, you will get the run block to above 90. You get the run block finesse to 91. And then, and the pass blocking uh, finesse will be up to 90 as well. So all you're going to have below 90 is going to be that run block um, power. But again, you can go ahead and put zone run. If you can get that up, or power run or any of those, if you can get that up to above a 90, then you will have a all-around beast right guard. Now, do you need to spend that kind of coins or buy an LTD right guard? I guess the jury's out on that. Is it, is it worth it ever? Probably not. But again, if you guys have the coins and you have a god squad and you need the best right guard in the game, I can see where you'd probably end up taking that route. But overall, guys, I think that Brandon Brooks is still good. I mean, he's good. I just wish he was better stock for the most part, right? Like, I wish stock could have at least have the 90s already, so you're just getting him better. Then you wouldn't have to power him up. But you know how this works. Typically, you do have to power up most cards that you want to buy. It's very rare you get a card that's stock that just, you know, is the best card in the game at their position. But he's still good. He's in that 94 strength and 95 awareness, which is super huge for a lineman. And, I mean, there's probably not going to be a lot of him. He's probably going to be pretty expensive. So, you guys kind of know the deal with, these stuff, with this stuff already. But, overall, if I had to rank him, uh, Brandon Brooks, Roquan. I like Roquan a lot more now. Again, if it wasn't the year of the safety at every position, I would probably like Roquan a ton. Like, I, I mean, I would probably think Roquan's like a top three, must have three, uh, top three player right now. But because safeties are able to be put there so e so easily and it's just like what everyone's doing nowadays, can, can you really argue having Taylor Mays, Brian Dawkins, all those guys in the box versus him? And typically they're taller too. Now, Roquan actually does have some decent size. But I still don't know if you can justify that. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. And if you guys want to see the title update overview later, comment down below. Let me know. I will be making my second video on that. And I'll probably push back my other videos either later or tomorrow, depending on how things work out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Comment down below. If you guys want to join the Poodle Squad, turn that noti bell. Comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video. And if you guys haven't already and you need some coins for the LTDs, head over to my reserved uh, down below. They have extended Halloween discounts plus extra discounts on top. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off at checkout. Make sure to check them out. They're awesome to work with. And that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.